got a donkey, yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch? On that, on that, on that, on that. They all in my face when I know what I got. Love what you see. You wanna deal on my shit so high, yeah? I bet you catch a feel. I don't know who you are if I'm keeping it real. What's good, y'all? Welcome back to the channel, or you should welcome me back. It's been a minute. It's just here to be your name. Make sure that you like, comment, share, and subscribe. Join the fam. Follow me on all of my socials. Turn on your push notifications, all that, okay? So today, I am here with our good sponsor, BGM Girl Hair, Black Girl Magic. We love that. And we are here to install a wig from beginning to end. So if you do not like talkative videos, you can exit stage left. If you do, girl, get your notepad and your pen and get ready to learn, okay? So here we have our wig. I'm going to show y'all everything that comes in the box. Um, cute packaging. You get a wig cap for free. We love that, honey. And you get you some cute lashes that like I would actually wear. We love that too. And here is the time to screenshot if you want some money off, okay? So our wig is, I believe it's 26 inches and it is very true to length. We got deep wave. We got 180% density. It smelled good out the box. We love that. Look at the body, yaddy, yaddy. The ends are healthy. Yes, ma'am. Okay, all of the information will be listed in the description box below. So yeah, I don't like these knots. Okay, they're doubled. And we are going to have to pluck like crazy, okay? But that's an easy fix. So let's get into the construction of the wig. We love that it comes with four combs, you know, that's great for security. It also comes with an elastic band in the back for our small head girls, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, overall, 10 out of 10 for like initial reaction from this hair company, okay? Because this is the first time I ever even heard of BGM Girl Hair and so far I'm very pleased with the outcome, okay? So we got to get into these knots. They're doubled girl i don't like that okay but it's okay we could fix it so of course what i'm gonna be doing is bleaching my knots for it so today i'm going to be using some 30 volume developer and it's also pure white it's by clairol if you want this process to be a little quicker use 40 developer okay but that's only for if you know what you're doing okay and i'm also going to be using some wella color charm and some purple shampoo of course this is my first time using this bleaching powder my um beauty supply ran out of bw2 like girl was you back in like it's a summertime everybody need they nice to be on point okay what are you doing but anyways every time i do a frontal that's 13 by 6 i always do a cup and a half of powder and then i just pour in the developer like eyeball it right and you want a thick consistency and i'm gonna show you exactly what you should look for in just a second but yeah we got a lot of parting space girl so you want to make sure that you're going to have enough bleach so i personally love to stare and apply my bleach with a plastic knife it just smooths out the bleach so nicely over your knots i don't know something about it right i love it so yeah you just want to make sure you get a real thick consistency like almost like toothpaste like make sure that if you pull it up it don't slide off your knife easily you know what i'm saying like it takes its time to drop yeah like that's exactly what you need right so first before you start you need to spray we got to be and you're gonna blow dry it especially if you're a newbie this is just your security blanket okay it's gonna make sure that none of that bleach runs through your hair do you know how many times i've over bleached my knots and it's gotten on my hair and now i have blonde roots we hate that okay especially if you're a dark-skinned girl like me that don't look right. So now I'm going to take the bleach and I'm going to start applying it at the back because I realized this wig has single knots in the very front of the hairline and the back got some thick double knots, okay? So, you know, you just want to analyze your wig, see what you're working with, and I'm going to start from the back and work my way forward. And yeah, that's basically how I did it. So let me tell y'all about the trials and tribulations I experienced while bleaching my knots. Girl, I left this first layer of bleach on for like 20, 25 minutes. And it barely did anything to the knots. I was so confused. I was like, is it the wig? Is it the knots? Is it the bleach? This is my first time using Wella. I heard Wella was good. Girl, I didn't know what to do. So, yeah, I'm going to show y'all, like, the timestamp of, like, when I started and, like, 
I came back at 1 o'clock. It's 12.41. I came back at 1 o'clock, and this is what, this is what I had. <laughs> like, I was confused. Like, do you see? The very front is slightly changing, but look at the middle part. Look, look at the motherfucking knots, girl. Ain't nothing changed. So I said, oh, no, baby, no. We got to wash that off. I didn't even use purple shampoo yet. I just rinsed it off because I knew that I had to go back and do it again. You should not still be able to see my knots like that. That is a no-go, okay? So I'm back now, and I use way more developer this time. If you have... Like very difficult, stubborn knots, like these double knots. You gotta put a little bit more developer in, okay? Make your consistency a little bit more creamier because the developer is really what lightens things, you know? Like I don't know what the powder do. I guess like they you both you need both, but the developer is what's really gonna kick shit into gear. You know what I'm saying? So I went back. I did a way thinner, way more thin er consistency, girl key talk. <laughs> and I left it on for a good amount of time once again. I started from the back and moved my way to the front. And I'ma show y'all what it looks like in a second. This is after putting on the purple shampoo. I didn't record that part because my bathroom is small but y'all here is the tip in order to get your knots to look like this y'all see that shit ow bomb.com you have to leave the purple shampoo on your lace for like a good 15 minutes like that's the key step that i feel like all the girlies on youtube be leaving out yeah yeah let it sit on there so now i'm doing something from tiktok y'all i'm so excited okay so all the girlies on TikTok, the ones that paid for Arrogant Tay's class, they said that he does, he plucks his knots on top of a white towel so he can, like, really see what's going on. So I was like, ooh, let me try. So, you know, I, I put a little washcloth on my mannequin head and it actually kind of helps so i'm probably gonna do this for forever but right now i'm sectioning out my baby hairs and i want them to stay away so i plaited it arrogant say also says to never start plucking from the front you want to always like pluck from the back and girl could we start talking about these tweezers girl okay so i'm gonna put the link in the description box these tweezers was like three dollars this whole set yes from amazon okay get you some angled tweezers you see that diagonal line yes ma'am let's show it again for the girls in the back yeah this tweezer is gonna make sure oh yeah girl get you some water and a brush it's gonna make it's gonna make it easier to pluck because you know plucking is a really long process like you could be there for like hours days a week girl so you want to take your time this is not sped up this is real time okay you're here with me in my room yeah plucking okay ow we gotta be a baddie you know what i'm saying get you an angled tweezer it's gonna help you so much and you're just gonna take your time with this process um and pluck away so all i'm doing is plucking a little bit at a time and then i'm gonna comb the hair back um as i'm doing now with my little red toe comb and then you're going to part again and, like, keep going back. Basically, the more you part and the more you pluck, your hairline will naturally have, like, a plucked gradient effect, if that makes sense. And you're also going to lose a lot of hair. So, you just really want to make sure that you mimic your natural hairline. If you know me, I got a ton of edges. I have a very thick hairline. So, I don't be plucking too crazy, but... Pluck how is going to make you happy, okay? And try to do the exact same thing on the left side to the right side. Um, a tip that I like to do is I pluck vertically, I pluck diagonally, and then, girl, I pluck straight back. I throw my hair into, like, the part that I think I'm going to do. Like, I did a side part, and I plucked in that direction. You just want to keep plucking until you can't pluck no more, do y'all see the difference from the left and the right? It looks so much better. We're getting somewhere, okay? So, I went ahead and did the same thing to the other side. And now, here's the key step. You got to pull your edges back, girl. And you got to pluck their hairline again. But this time, you got to be very careful. 
especially if you have a delicate lace like I did. Um, this lace is very thin, but it's actually durable. It's really good. One thing I do love about this wig from BGM Girl Hair is that the lace melts. It was giving melty Yana, you know what I'm saying? Like, it melts so effortlessly because it's very thin. But I, I didn't, like, ever rip my lace or anything like that because it's not, like, crazy thin. It's, like, perfect perfect so yeah i'm just plucking again with all the hair back to make sure that the hairline looks perfect to be honest um i pluck every time i put my wig back on so i don't go hella crazy the first time i pluck because i know each time i wear it, i'm gonna pluck a little bit more all right so now it is time to install this wig okay first thing you have to do is brush your hair back to make sure that none of your edges are going to be exposed. You don't want none of that glue getting into your real hair. So I'm going to push mine back with edge booster and an edge brush. This keeps my edges together but also soft under my install. So I love it here, okay? And when it comes to what's underneath my cap, baby girl, all I do is fold up my puff. Like, and I don't care, period. Like, and that's all I be having time to do, Okay. So, yeah, this protects my hair good enough. Don't nobody got time for that braid now. Okay, and now I'm going to put on some foundation powder that's darker than my skin complexion. I do this before I spray it with um the got to be because it doesn't make it crunchy, you know? So, after you cut your ear tabs, it's really self-explanatory after this part. So, play some music for y'all and let y'all watch me work. So when it comes to cutting my access cap off, I got this from Keisha Jabri, I believe. She keeps this little band on her cap and it's so good for like securing your hair in the back, especially if you're like me and you don't even have cornrows, you know what I'm saying? So all you're going to want to do is cut off the access around the perimeter. Um, you can make it perfect after you do this, but basically this band is going to make sure that your cap does not go anywhere and it still lays super flat under your wig like it's perfect <music> cap is ready and our wig is prepared you're going to put the wig on okay the first time you put your wig on should not be when you're about to press it into the glue you want to put your wig on prior to make sure that everything's laying just how you like it okay also don't forget to wipe your forehead with rubbing alcohol if you have excess makeup or anything like that on your skin your wig isn't going to apply well okay and also Keep a paper towel with some alcohol on it on standby because whatever you use, you know, your right so comb, a popsicle stick, whatever you use to apply your glue, you're going to want to make sure that you wipe that off in between so it doesn't get messy and sticky. Don't nobody got time for that, okay? And do know that my favorite glue personally is Ghost Bomb, period, okay? So as for my first layer of glue, I like to primarily put it on the cap. I don't know why, but I apply my glue differently on different layers. And also, my sideburns, I don't play with those, okay? I've pulled my hair out too many times in the past, so I don't even care to put glue right there, especially if that's not the side that I'm, like, you know, showing. Don't nobody got time. So, you want to make sure that you apply thin, 
even layers of glue. Okay. And don't put no glue in your baby hairs because we want our baby hairs, okay? We want to have edges. All right. So it's real self-explanatory. Basically, all I do is apply thin layers of glue. The first one is primarily on the cap. And then I think the second layer is like the cap and my forehead. And then the third layer is like a light layer just to serve as my security blanket, okay? So this is very self-explanatory. I'm going to play some music and I'm going to come back in the end for real, for real. Because it's real simple when you get to this part, I promise. <music> One thing I've definitely noticed when laying and applying wigs is that sometimes no matter how well you apply the glue and you lay your lace into the glue, sometimes it still has that like white cast effect and we don't want that. So I like to take some got to be spray and blow dry it a little bit using the back of my comb to really press that lace into my skin. Um, and then, you know, you're definitely going to secure that with a, an elastic band or something that can really hold your lace into place. Um, next step is to get these edges together, um, and to really refreshen up the curls. So, I love no ruby mousse. It's my favorite. And, y'all, let's take a minute to appreciate the curl pattern of this wig. BGM Girl Hair did that, okay? This wig is so nice. And I also want to give a little review right now because at this point, y'all know what I'm doing. I'm just getting the curls together. It's really not much that I can explain. So let me tell you about my experience with this hair. This hair is so soft and it's very easily manageable. I can already tell. Now I did have a little bit of shedding because I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but I definitely co-washed the hair. I always co-wash my wigs before I install them because I don't know where their hair been, you know. So I always wash it um, with some conditioner. I don't really shampoo it because I don't want to strip the moisture that it has. But when I was washing the lace with a purple shampoo and when I conditioned it with my conditioner from Aussie, I did experience a little bit of shedding. But that's it. Like, look how true to length this hair is, you guys. This is 26 inches and it's almost at my butt. And for curly hair, that's just amazing, you know. The ends were super duper healthy. And the lace, the lace, like, baby... Y'all see how it's already melted into my skin? Like, the lace was so thin. It was amazing. I just may order myself a wig from this company, to be honest, because I think I really do like their hair. The only thing I did not like about the wig was the double knots, but now we know how to get rid of that. So, to be honest, like, the affordable prices that they provide and the great quality hair, it's a win-win situation, okay? So, right now, right here, I'm cutting all my ear tabs, um... I also loved how this wig really fitted my head perfectly, to be honest. I also recommend getting some itty-bitty scissors like these. These are eyebrow cutting scissors, I believe, or they came from a nail kit. I'm not too sure, but get you some small scissors. This is the best, like, my lace has ever looked. I think cutting 
the lace off with these small scissors looks better than using like a razor or regular scissors girl it got the job done okay and i'm sorry if you can't see from this angle but it was pretty easy to cut this lace so y'all feel like i'm wrapping like in a second i'm just about to get my part together i love putting concealer on my part and i'm going to get my baby hairs together and i'm gonna come back at the very end of the video to sign off you know what i'm saying so yeah
that. So if you stay through that entire process of me doing my baby hair as a baby girl, I fuck with you, okay? Because it takes me ages to do my baby hairs and get them perfectly. But anyways, this is how the hair looks. It's semi-dry. I'm about to go do my makeup and come back. <laughs> this is the final result, you guys. Don't I look so good? Oh, you can't tell me. I'm not rocking this wig like per like arrogant Tara it's like nah let me stop playing I'm definitely not on his level but anyways I love this hair hair from BMG girl hair it's bomb it's so full but it's still lightweight and it dries really pretty and still has that bomb curl texture so yeah y'all this wraps up this video I hope y'all enjoy and learn something if you did make sure you comment down below thank you so much for watching and I will see y'all in the next video bye mamas Got the dumpy, yeah, boy. Know what I mean, bitch. On it, on it, on it, on it.